Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the complete Teostra Gamma armor set. So for those of you guys that haven't done it yet, then the Arc Tempered Teostra quest went live this morning. The event quest runs from today, that's August 10th, all the way up till August the 24th. So if you do want to make this armor set for yourself, or snag the associated layered armor set, then that is your time window to do so. And if you guys do want any help with this quest, then if you're watching this video as it's just gone live, then 269 and Paradise Central are over on Twitch streaming Monster Hunter World right now. So you can hop into their lobby and join in for some Arc Temper Toaster action. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Plus, today is also the last day to enter the God of War PS4 Pro giveaway, so if you guys want a chance to win that, then you can also find that linked in the description box below. Now, if you do want to get involved in this quest, then head over to the quest board, scroll down to the event quest, and select the Scorn of the Sun. In truth, there don't appear to be that many drastic differences in this fight. A little bit more Blast Blight, perhaps, a few more stuns here and there, and maybe an extra supernova for good measure, but largely, he's the Teostra we all know and hate. That being said, around the 5 minute mark, Arc Tempered Kashala actually shows up for a brief period, sort of like a teaser for the next quest, but after they have their turf war, he goes on his merry way. But anyway, that aside, take down the Raging Toaster and you'll net yourself a Teostra ticket. You'll need five of those to craft the armor, plus an extra two for the layered armor set, which I'll cover at the end. As for the set itself, much like all the other Gamma sets, it has a ton of slots, so you might find the odd piece goes well in some future mix sets. But all up, you have the Toaster three-piece set bonus, Master's Touch, which prevents your weapon from losing sharpness during critical hits. This is also present on the new Draken armor set, but that requires four pieces instead of three. You then have Max Critical Eye, level 7, for the full 30% affinity. You have Max Latent Power, level 5, for 50% affinity and 50% reduction to stamina depletion when, quote-unquote, certain conditions have been met, which again, as a reminder, is either when you've taken 180 points of damage or you've been in the fight for more than 5 minutes. And then finally, you have Weakness Exploit, level 1, for a further 15% affinity, when striking weak spots. So were you to wear the whole set without any decorations, you'd already have 95% affinity when latent power is active, which is pretty nice. On the slot front, the helmet has two level two slots, the chest has one level two slot, the gloves have a level three slot, the waist has two level one slots, and finally the legs have a level three slot and a level one slot. Out of all the pieces, it's the chest piece that carries the one point in weakness exploit alongside two points in latent power. Now, latent power isn't a bad skill, not by a long shot, but if you're going to work with any kind of conditioned skill, then people tend to gravitate more towards Agitator, it's a little bit easier to take full advantage of. However, were you in the market for that set bonus, then you could certainly combine, say, some of the Gamma and Beta pieces to get max weakness exploit and a lot of other slots in the process, and then have room to play with. So, there's for sure some mixed set potential here. And if you guys are putting it together already, don't forget to submit them over on the Arix Gaming Discord or in the email for the next episode of Mixed Set Monday. However, if the armor doesn't really appeal to you, then there is also a layered option, the Dante armor set. In order to complete this delivery quest, you'll need two Teostra tickets and also two red orbs, which come from the Dante event quest. Now, if you did that event quest a while ago, and only got enough items to just craft the gear and the weapons, don't worry. Next week, August 17th, the Dante event quest is making a return. So if you don't have the red orbs right now, then just farm the tickets, the Teostra tickets this week, and then you'll be ready for next week when the quest drops and you can get the orbs and get the layered armor set. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. If you did enjoy the video, then like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the set and the fight. Again, don't forget, you can jump over on Twitch right now if you want to go and tune in and check out 269 and Paradise Streaming. And thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.